Yo, what's up with it, y'all? It's JD Travel Stenix, and I'm back with a quick video. And this video, I'm just gonna be talking about my second day out in Rio de Janeiro, back on my trip, on my second trip to Rio de Janeiro. Um, before I get started on the video, if you've checked my videos out before and you like them, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and you're interested in travel and fitness content. You can go ahead and subscribe to the channel as well. Hit the notification bell. But anyways, y'all, back to the video. Um, today, I pretty much just woke up, wanted to get a workout in, hit the beach. So the weather was pretty nice. This is a Sunday. And on Sundays in Copacabana and also in Ipanema, they pretty much shut the street down and it's pretty much a day where people just walk the street, they bike the street, they work out, they're out, people bring their families out, people go chill out at the beach. Um, what I did is I, they have these calisthenic stations all throughout uh, Copacabana Beach and Ipanema Beach and I just got a little workout in on the calisthenic stations which was cool and after I was done I actually ended up meeting this cool little chick from Argentina I walked with her for a little while and after she got in her uber I went back to my Airbnb changed came back met up with one of my homeboys Deshaun and we walked the strip in Ipanema and as you can see on the strip in Ipanema it was super packed there was a blocko a little bit further down everybody was out chilling drinking having a good time and that's pretty much the vibes when you're in Rio de Janeiro. Like I said in my previous video, you really don't need to go out at night in Rio. You can meet people just walking on the street. There's plenty of beautiful women out. Um, there's plenty of people in general if you just want to strike up conversations. And Rio's just got that type of vibe. There's beautiful backdrops to the beach. There's good food that you can purchase just from the street vendors or if you want to stop at one of these little restaurants that they have on the beach, those are not bad either. I definitely recommend if you stay in Rio, you definitely just got to hit the strip, which is the beach strip, and just walk it. The further that you walk down on the strip, the more packed it got. It was just people everywhere you turn. You just rubbing elbows with everybody. Um, everybody was out drinking, having a good time, partying, dancing. There was actually a concert, a big concert that they had going on. To be honest with you guys, I'm not really big on crowds and I really don't like being on crowds. So what we ended up doing was like leaving the strip and we ended up going to just walk around Ipanema and LeBlanc. I wouldn't, I don't even know if I even want to be out this motherfucker for that shit. So after we ended up leaving the Blocko and we ended up leaving the beach strip in Ipanema, we ended up going to the mall, just checking out what was in the mall, and we actually ended up meeting my homeboy Devon who just showed up, and we ended up grabbing some food, kicking it. And we actually ended up meeting up with that Argentinian girl and her friends later to go out to the club. I don't really have too much footage from the club, um, but definitely we was partying hard that night. And so hard that one of my homeboys actually lost their phone. But anyways, y'all, that's it for this video. I got plenty of other content coming from Rio and also some content coming from Sao Paulo soon. So stay tuned for that content. I'll holler at y'all later. Peace.